uh, hello everyone uh, welcome to the today's webinar on introduction to uh, the open stack my name is ajmal san and i am working with noldas as a software consultant so in this webinar we will learn about the open stack and its core services and how it help us to create private and public clouds uh, so let's start uh, before going ahead, I would like to give a quick overview about Noldus. Uh, basically, Noldus is a team of passionate technologies with a product mindset who work along with businesses to deliver solutions at the speed of competitive advantage. Our main capabilities are around reactive products, IoT, microservices and API, data science, data engineering and DevOps. We also have our strategic partnership with Databricks, Lightband, uh, Confluent and many more. To deliver more value to client uh, so now uh, move to the webinar agenda so uh, this will be the today's agenda so first we will uh, go through the like introduction part in in this introduction part we will we will like uh, learn uh, what is open stack and what are the history of the open stack uh, uh, how it comes to the picture uh, the open stack then uh, we will like uh, go through the benefits and its features then we will uh, talk about its architecture, what are the uh, main components uh, associated with the architecture and then we have a uh, uh, core services that we require to set up uh, uh, OpenStack. Then at the end we will have a demo. Uh, so what is OpenStack? So basically OpenStack is an open source cloud operating system uh, that provides cloud functionality to uh, your own, hard own hardware that can be your laptop or any bare metal hardware. Uh, it offers a couple of cloud services like VM networking, storage, image services, identity, and many more. Uh, right, uh, so you can establish your own infrastructure as a service cloud model uh, with the help of OpenStack. And it gives you uh, the complete control over the cloud competition. Uh, you already know most of the like uh, platform available in the market. Uh, which helps in virtualization and cloud competition, but uh, they all are expensive and licensed like AWS, Azure, GCP. But uh, we can install OpenStack free of cost and can be customized with the required services according to the according to your need. Uh, hence, uh, OpenStack is an open source. So many uh, corporations uh, own their own version of OpenStack. Uh, so many like big uh, short companies in the IT world like Red Hat uh, have adopted OpenStack on their cloud management. So this is basically like uh, uh, OpenStack's introduction. Let's uh, move to the like history uh, when it comes to com uh, comes to the picture and what are the main objective uh, to set up uh, like uh, the OpenStack project. So basically OpenStack was created in 2010 as a joint open source uh, initiative between Rackspace Hosting and NASA. So, uh, with the goal of enabling cloud computing services to run on standard hardware. So, basically its objective is to like uh, enabling cloud computing in a standard hardware like your laptop, like your uh, any bare metal devices. Uh, and uh, uh, now basically it's uh, uh, maintained by the uh, OpenStack Foundation. So, basically OpenStack Foundation is a non-profit organization uh, that oversees both development and community building around the project. So uh, these are the like benefits uh, uh, of the OpenStack. Uh, uh, so first uh, it is uh, the open source. Uh, so OpenStack is open source. All OpenStack projects are completely free and uh, source code available on the GitHub. So many companies are uh, contribution uh, uh, to the like or, or to, or, like uh, OpenStack. Uh, uh, so like uh, the company name are like Red Hat uh, and many more company uh, that uh, contribute uh, to the like OpenStack. And also you can also uh, contribute to the like OpenStack. Uh, so next one is orchestration. So OpenStack provide orchestration service. Basically it's a template based uh, uh, orchestration uh, for describing a cloud application by running uh, the OpenStack API calls to generate uh, running cloud applications. Uh, so using this uh, uh, template orchestration, you, you can create most of the OpenStack resources uh, such as instance, floating IP, volumes, resource, uh, security group, networking, uh, and many more. Uh, so it also provides advanced functionality such as instance uh, high high availability, uh, instance auto scaling, and nested stack. So these are the like uh, services it's provided by the like uh, orchestration service. Uh, 
then uh, we have a cloud model so basically OpenStack provides uh, you an infrastructure as a service cloud model so you can establish both private uh, or public cloud using OpenStack uh, then we have uh, scalability uh, so OpenStack is designed to uh, to be horizontally scalable uh, rather than switching to a larger service server uh, you can uh, like more servers and simply install identically configured services so you can easily scale in or out uh, your uh, resources uh, using the OpenStack and also load balancing among the services. Uh, then we have a uh, uh, security. So security like uh, the main concern uh, for any of the like services or any of the like some infrastructure. So OpenStack provide a rich like security. Uh, so uh, uh, like uh, uh, rollback access control uh, and you can uh, restrict the user access as per your need. Uh, also OpenStack internal communication uh, is very secure. Then we have a, a dashboard. So uh, OpenStack also provide uh, uh, you a rich uh, user friendly dashboard to play across like the resources easily. So you can uh, do administration uh, work as well as development work like managing resources from the dashboard. So that's uh, these are the like core benefits of the like OpenStack. So uh, OpenStack provides a like uh, uh, Hundred, hundreds of benefits uh, apart from these. So these are the like core benefits. Uh, let's uh, uh, move ahead. So what OpenStack is not. So so many people confusing about uh, that is OpenStack uh, is a hypervisor tool like v KVM, VMware etc. Uh, so uh, the answer is no. Uh, OpenStack is not a hypervisor. Uh, but it uses hypervisor uh, to create virtual machines. Uh, so by default, uh, OpenStack using KVM uh, to like spin up the uh, virtual machine. Uh, but uh, you can use uh, any other hardware, uh, any other hypervisor tool as well. So basically, it's very flexible. Uh, also, OpenStack is not a single project. Uh, so there are lots of uh, projects in the OpenStack like Nova, Gilliams, uh, Cinder, etc. Uh, so each product, uh, each project uh, have its own objectives. Uh, for example, Cinder projects uh, provide us uh, the block storage services, and uh, the glance, uh, glance uh, provide us to the image services. Uh, so these will be uh, discussed in later slides. So also, OpenStack is not a product. So basically, it's a platform where you can build your own private or public cloud. Yeah, so these are the like uh, the organizations that currently uh, using the OpenStack and contributing to the OpenStack. So this is uh, this is not like limited company. So there are uh, the hundreds of company that are using currently OpenStack. But uh, now I'm just uh, 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 pushing down the like important one. So these are the like uh, main important company. You can see the Rackspace. You can see there's a HP. You can see the Intel. All are using like uh, the uh, OpenStack. Uh, 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 projects in your like uh, in your like in your project and they are some of the like uh, provide uh, these uh, uh, these OpenStack as a like public cloud you can see reddit also adapted uh, uh, the OpenStack and uh, they uh, gives you as a rental based service for the public cloud so uh, you can also create your public cloud and give uh, uh, give some like uh, users as a like rental basis hardware so uh, now we are like uh, uh, pretty much uh, uh, have an idea of what is OpenStack and why we use it, what are the benefits uh, and, uh, and now like uh, we need to like move into like more deeper. So let's uh, move into the like architecture of the OpenStack. So uh, this is basically a high level architecture of the OpenStack. So uh, you can see uh, there is a bare metal uh, hardware which is your standard hardware. So this, this, this is your like uh, standard hardware. So at the top of the standard hardware, uh, you install like uh, OpenStack services. So services may be like the compute services, the like network sync services, and the storage services. So uh, so once you have like set up the shared services uh, on your like hardware, so uh, we need uh, like accessible uh, the uh, like for example, if you want to create your uh, uh, instances, so uh, you need to like do from like dashboard as well as API. So you can create uh, your like. Uh, the compute uh, like uh, for example uh, the VM uh, using the like APIs as well or as, as well as dashboard. So once you have like spin up the like uh, the virtual machine networking and storage 
so that will spin up the whole the uh, the solo in, uh, virtual machine then uh, you can deploy your application to that particular machine and uh, using networking you can access your application so this is basically high uh, level flow how like open stack like uh, see so uh, let's move uh, ahead for the like uh, the high level diagram so you can see there is an internet uh, where you can just access to the like uh, the open stack so you can see there are three uh, three tools that you can access uh, the open stack services like the first one is command line interface so we have the separate nova neutron swift so these are the like open stack projects so that's have uh, like uh, different like have own objective uh, for example in nova for the compute and for neutron is for networking swift for the storage so uh, so they they separate projects also provide uh, their api you can see there is an you can see the open stack object api image api compute api block storage api the networking api so they also gives the api you can uh, we can also communicate uh, using the like uh, command line interface using the uh, api so the next one is cloud management tool so there is a lots of tools through which we can easily access to the like uh, uh, open stack so the first one is right scale and the ntrs uh, and the next one is the gui tools some of the like gui tools through which we can easily uh, accessible uh, using console so uh, we have a dashboard cyber drug uh, iphone client etc as so many more so by default uh, per stack provide the uh, horizon uh, basically it's uh, a project for like dashboard uh, to provide uh, the console uh, for the user friendly uh, so user can easily access uh, uh, to the open stack so for example uh, if uh, if i am a user i want to create an instance so i am just logging to the horizon so uh, once you uh, once you put the username and password so request go through the like uh, uh, open stack identity uh, and services which is basically a keystone which is project for the iam uh, services basically identity and access management uh, so basically first is checks the uh, authentication purpose for the login credential is correct or not so if correct so it's login to the like uh, dashboard so uh, then uh, you are going to like hit the like open stack uh, uh, the nova api to create the instance so once you like uh, set up all the details what are the volumes what are the networks what are the like details and click uh, the create instance button so basically uh, nova uh, basically uh, store the like uh, the instance detail in the database basically it's a mysql database so nova computes basically compute the virtual machine uh, using the hypervisor tool so by default it's using the kvm but you can also use uh, vmware and any other hypervisor tool to spin up the virtual machine so once the virtual machine is uh, spin up so it's uh, uh, it's fetch the uh, image uh, basically it's a os image it can be open to red hat or any other image so it's store in a like database uh, so you can uh, just get the image uh, and install it to the like virtual machine and we have a like you can see uh, there is a block storage you, which you can the sender uh, so cinder basically it's uh, uh, just uh, the instance uh, vm uh, storage uh, so that uh, that we need to like uh, uh, while uh, that you, that we need while access, while creating the like instance and we have a uh, like neutron which is basically a uh, open uh, stack networking that provide the complete networking solution uh, to our open stack so once all the three uh, things are done so you can see there is a ampq which is the rabbit mq so open stack using uh, rabbit mq for uh, queuing purpose and uh, the last one is the object storage so basically we have a swift uh, project so that's provide the object storage so you can store the file in the form of like objects so uh, these are the like uh, main core uh, components uh, uh, of the open stack that we like need to uh, build the uh, open stack uh, in your like bare metal hardware so so uh, these are the like core service that we already discussed in the like architecture so first uh, uh, let me uh, like uh, quickly explain uh, like each of the like services uh, quickly so uh, we have our dashboard uh, basically it's uh, a console uh, for creating and managing the like uh, infrastructure as a service uh, for example uh, the networking then storage uh, then uh, virtual machines uh, identity access management anything else so you can manage uh, the dashboard so using dashboard uh, there is two types of uh, work you can do for example if first one is the administration task so you can also do administration work uh, with the like uh, dashboard and we, we can also do like development work for example if simply creation and deletion the virtual machine creation the volume so you can also do that 
so first whenever whenever you uh, like uh, uh, using the dashboard you need to uh, authenticate to the like uh, keystone basically it's identity access management tool so uh, we need uh, to insert the username and password so that's need to be authenticated by the keystone if it's correct so you are able to log in then you can uh, check for the like uh, uh, creation of the tool for example if you want to create uh, uh, some uh, virtual machine so uh, once you click on the virtual machines creation click so it's uh, the request is gone through the like keystone for checking that uh, the person the user is authorized to like create the virtual machine or not so if it is not authorized so it's denied to like create so if the person is authorized so it will create so nova is basically a compute uh, uh, compute uh, project uh, compute uh, for example uh, for computing the like uh, the virtual machine uh, uh, from your bare metal hardware for example if you want to like 5 uh, 5gb ram oh sorry uh, 8 gb ram and uh, 2 cpu uh, 2 cpu like virtual machine so uh, that's that's compute uh, that's that is computed by the like nova uh, then we have a block storage that uh, every vm needs to be like attached for example if you want to like our instance have like 5 500 gb of like memory so uh, they basically uh, center creates the 5 gb uh, uh, 500 GB of uh, memory and attached to the like uh, virtual machine. Then we have a networking. So what ports are you want to uh, open? What are the like uh, the address space? What are the subnet? Which subnet you are going to install? Uh, uh, schedule this like uh, your instance. Uh, what are the like security groups? Like uh, for example, ports opening and closing. Uh, and so all the like networking stuffs is provided by the Neutron service. Uh, the next one is uh, Gilean. So once the uh, Nova like uh, compute like the virtual machine for us, that we need to like install some OS into it. So uh, we have uh, like Gilean service that uh, basically store the uh, metadata of the like uh, OS images and the like actual OS images. So for metadata, it uses the SQL, and uh, for like images, there can be used like Swift or many other like uh, uh, like you can use also S3 uh, to store the images. Then we have a uh, object storage. Uh, basically, it's used for the like uh, storing the large amount of files or like videos and any type of fo files in the form of objects. So let's talk about one by one uh, for all these like components. Uh, let's go through it. Uh, so uh, basically, the first one is Nova. Basically, it's an open stack community project. Uh, it's uh, the main purpose is to uh, provision compute instances. So uh, it's uh, uh, provision the like instances and uh, it runs as a, a set of daemons on the top of existing linux server so we have linux server so the nova project is basically running uh, as an uh, sets of like many of the daemon services uh, to uh, computing our like uh, instances so basically it's require the following additional uh, open stack services so it depends on these services like keystone for authentication authorization for glance for os images for neutron for networking service for cinder for object storage so how 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 to use like nova so basically there are three ways to use the uh, nova uh, the first one is uh, uh, nova horizon then we have a uh, open stack client and the like, basically no, nova client basically it's uh, uh, the cli or you can see the api uh, then we have a Glance, uh, basically it's an image service project, uh, included images and metadata. So Glance has a RESTful API that allows uh, curing of VM image metadata as well as uh, retrieval of actual image. So in the diagram you can see that a user uh, hits the Glance API, uh, for example, if you want to check uh, if we have a like Ubuntu image, so it's basically get the, the, the Glance registry and check for the database, uh, database for the metadata. So if the metadata is found for the like uh, images, so then the user is request for that particular image. So it's like uh, basically pull that image from the particular image store. So image store basically stores the actual uh, like image. Uh, so uh, the image store can be as three, uh, your local or your Swift. So it's store the actual image and database store the metadata. So uh, so once we require, so we can easily like fetch the uh, fetch the uh, images of the like OS. So basically, it's a image uh, service. Uh, then we have a Neutron, basically it's also an uh, open stack community project. So Neutron provide the uh, network connectivity as a service to us uh, and it gives cloud tenants an API to build rich networking topologies and configure advanced networking policy in the cloud. So uh, you can, uh, you, using the like Neutron, you can create your like uh, uh, um, uh, like your address space, you can, you can create your subnets, you can create your uh, like uh, 
uh, subnets and you can create your security groups and many other uh, services also provide like uh, routing table so uh, how, how the network flow uh, you define so basically uh, the horizon gui supports for neutron l2 and l3 network and subnet creation deletion so uh, booting vm on specific uh, neutron network so uh, this is this is the gui support so you can uh, you can you, you can gui you can use neutron uh, using the gui uh, for these two uh, part uh, so na next we have a like uh, Cinder basically it's also an open stack uh, community project. So Cinder is uh, the open stack block storage service uh, for providing volume to Nova virtual machine, uh, ionic bare metal host containers and many more. So basically it's uh, uh, your basically virtual uh, machine uh, uh, volume uh, where your data uh, will be stored. Uh, so uh, features of Cinder so basically it's a component based architecture. So you can quickly add new behavior into it. Uh, so then we have a highly available to scale to various uh, serious workload. So uh, uh, you can uh, deploy our uh, like uh, Cinder in a, like uh, different data centers. So basically, it's uh, a highly available uh, storage. Then we have a fault tolerant. Uh, so isolate it, process avoid uh, cascading failures. So it's basically uh, reduce the like uh, uh, failures. Uh, so then we have a uh, recoverable. Uh, so failure should be easily diagnosing and debug and rectify. So uh, the debugging purpose, debugging uh, very easy in like uh, the Cinder. Then we have a uh, open standard. So be a reference implementation for uh, community driven API. So let's uh, move to the like Swift. Uh, so it's also an open stack community project. So Swift is highly available uh, distributed eventually consistent object blob storage. So basically it's an object storage project. So it's organized, uh, organization can use uh, Swift to store uh, lots of data efficiently, safely and cheaper. So uh, in the Swift uh, we can store any type of data like images, document, uh, like videos in the form of objects. So it's uses to store like the, uh, the huge amount of data. So that's uh, that's a really uh, like uh, good things that we can uh, implement in OpenStack. Uh, then we have a key Keystone. So basically, Keystone is an OpenStack services that provides uh, API client authentication, uh, service discovery, distribution, multi-tenant authorization by implementing OpenStack identity API. So uh, you can uh, you can uh, with the help of uh, Keystone uh, you can like create RBAC access control. For example, uh, for example, you can see the user sent the creation credential and the key store receives a token then uh, the user sends the request plus token to the swift and uh, uh, it checks the token is correct or not with the client, uh, with the like uh, the client uh, that, that user sends so if the uh, like token is correct so it receives the response so this is how the like uh, key store work so basically it's uh, you can uh, in the keystone part you can create user you can create groups and you can create like uh, rollback control for example if uh, the user only allowed to create uh, the uh, center storage so they can also create they will only allow to like create volumes and for example one user is only allowed to like uh, uh, create the virtual machine and uh, any other object like have a read only access so we can like all the things uh, we can do with the like keystone uh, then we have a uh, horizon uh, basically it's in uh, dashboard service uh, that, it's a user friendly dashboard that we'll uh, see in the demo part so it's it's, it's provide the like uh, web based user interface to open stack services including nova swift keystone etc so uh, all the things like end user is uh, you can see there is end user basically it's uh, passed through the horizon can uh, use all the like open stack services and also administrator uh, can also manage the administration part uh, with the help of uh, uh, dashboard. So uh, let's quickly like uh, compare the OpenStack services with the like uh, AWS services. So we have like a virtual uh, server. So in AWS we have EC2, in OpenStack we have a Nova instances. For Docker, so uh, in AWS we have ECS and in OpenStack we have Magnum that provide container service. And scalability, we have AWS scaling and in OpenStack we have heat with scaling. So heat, heat basically is a orchestration tool uh, orchestration project uh, in OpenStack. So load balancing there is a elastic load balancing but in OpenStack we have LBAS that we can uh, deploy if, if we need that service but it's not like compulsory service. Uh, it's uh, like we can use it we can deploy it as per your need. Uh, 
then we have api so basically you can see ac2 api and you can see in the openstack api that we can use uh, the like instance so gy there is a console of aws console but in horizon uh, in openstack there is a horizon to like access the gui but in uh, for example if our storage uh, object we have s3 in aws but in uh, openstack we have a swift that uh, uh, store the data in the form of objects so we have a block storage uh, in aws we have ebs but in openstack we have a sender uh, networking uh, in AWS we have a networking, but in OpenStack we have a like Project Neutron that provide the network for functionality to us. Uh, then we have a compute we have, like VM, and in OpenStack we have an instance. Uh, the security identity. Uh, so AWS uh, you can already know that AWS provides the IAM, but uh, in OpenStack we have a Keystone that provides the rollback access control uh, uh, for the like uh, users. And we have orchestration. You can see the cloud formation uh, that you can like uh, uh, quickly like create uh, the like uh, infrastructure with the help of templates. And we uh, same thing we can also do with the heat. So heat also provide the templating based system through which templating we can like automate our like uh, deployment of like uh, uh, the IES services. Uh, then we have a image templating. We have a AMI in AWS, but uh, in OpenStack we have a Glance. Then DNS management uh, in AWS we have Route 53 and uh, Des designate in OpenStack. The relational database RDS in AWS and OpenStack is Prov. So some of the services are optional uh, that uh, that you can deploy as per your need, but uh, don't need to like uh, uh, deploy all the like projects uh, to your uh, to your like setuping the OpenStack. Uh, then these are the deployment tools. How you can deploy your OpenStack uh, uh, to your like production or you can uh, your environment. So there is a, a Teplio which is deploy OpenStack using OpenStack itself, and we have OpenStack Helm that deploy OpenStack in a container using Helm. Then Cola Ansible uh, that deploys OpenStack in a container using Ansible. Then Cube deployment of containerized OpenStack to bare metal services. If you want to deploy your uh, like OpenStack as a bare metal hardware, so you can use Kyob. So OpenStack Ansible, so it's provide like a predefined like rich uh, Ansible playbook to deploy OpenStack to any of any of the like bare metal hardware. So OpenStack Charms, so uh, deploys OpenStacks uh, in a container using Charm and Juju. Juju. So uh, Bifrost uh, basically Ansible playbook for uh, uh, Aronic. Then we have a Open uh, Stack Chef. So Chef uh, cookbooks to uh, build, operate, and consume OpenStack. So these are basically deployment tools that you can use, and you can also visit the like OpenStack official do documentation uh, to know more about these deployment tools and uh, pick suitable uh, as per your use case. Uh, now let's uh, uh, move to the demo part. Yeah. So in the demo, I'm using like the MicroStack. Uh, basically, uh, it's a small uh, project, so we can uh, deploy uh, the MicroStack, uh, MicroStack, uh, uh, in a single node of Linux Ubuntu, or we can use uh, the multi-node as well. So now I'm using the single node uh, cluster. So basically, it's required the 8 GB of RAM and 100 GB of uh, disk space. So it also uh, use the uh, x86 base physical. And you can see it uses the uh, KVM for the virtual machines, and uh, you need like uh, Ubuntu 18 or Ubuntu 20 to like set up. So the installation process is quite easy. Uh, so that's why I'm uh, going to give the demo on that particular microstack. So you can like install the microstack uh, microstack in in using the snap. But you can see there's a beta. So uh, now it is a beta mode. Uh, so this is not in the like production. So uh, now I'm like f f using this for the demoing purpose. So the main purpose for this uh, uh, this microstacks for the IoT uh, IoT tools, uh, I I IoT automations. Uh, so you can see there is a once you can like install the OpenStack, you can check the mic microstack is uh, installed or not. So then you need to initialize the uh, microstack uh, by using the microstack init. So that's basically init your like microstack. That, that's all. Now you can uh, view the services like uh, in the OpenStack uh, uh, dashboard. So there is a like IP which is 10.20.20.i, which is basically is a local IP. So you can use it internal IP. Uh, so uh, now let's uh, uh, quickly uh, give you the overview of like uh, the quick dashboard. So you can uh, see there three main part. The you can see the one is project, admin, and identity. So for identity, you can create projects, users, users, groups, roles, 
uh, and uh, and credentials. So that's that's really quick easy. So you can create users uh, in the user sections. Like you can uh, create new user in this. You can easily uh, provide like some email description, username, password. So you can uh, create and you can apply the roles as well. So what are the roles? It's admin, member, reader. So you can easily create users and you can uh, assign that user to the particular group. For example, if I want to create uh, like a group, uh, the production, uh, uh, like uh, the development and separate groups. So we can create groups and assign those users to the particular groups. So here you can uh, predefine role. So you can the admin role, member role, reader role. Reader role only the reader access member role is basically uh, some of the like uh, the uh, right access to all the resources. But you can create uh, your own role here, uh, like name of the role and assign the policy to that particular role. Uh, so the application credential. So some of the like uh, your application needs to access that OpenStack API. So you can uh, create uh, the credential as well. So this is basically the whole identity uh, identity stuff uh, in the like uh, uh, in the OpenStack. So next one is uh, administration. So you can like uh, computing the like hypervisor, which hyper you can see uh, it using Kimu uh, because uh, MicroStack using uh, Kimu for uh, the uh, spin up the like uh, uh, spin up the like virtual machines. So uh, it's my host name, and you can see hypervisor. You can see you can manage all the like uh, administration task task with the help here. You can see the uh, manage the volumes, manage the networks. And manage the system. So these are basically administration tasks. So we can do this uh, if you are admin. If we are admin, but if you are develop developer, so you can uh, uh, you can see there is three types of like resources: the compute, volume, and network. Uh, so that's basically uh, provide like IAS service to us. So now I'm going to uh, uh, I have not deployed like uh, there is a Swift which is going to be object storage. So we can like deploy if you deploy the Swift, so you can able to see that in the in the here. Uh, so let's uh, quickly create an uh, like uh, the uh, uh, instance. So you can this is a basically quick overview uh, summary uh, with the dashboard. You can see the compute. So I use the uh, one instance. So one CPU. It uh, how much RAM? For five GB RAM. So there's a volume. We can create one volume, and you can see the network, floating IP, security group. So these are the network. Uh, so this is the complete whole summary of my like current infrastructure. So let's quickly create a single instance. Uh, so launch instance like for example we need to like null instance so provide description for demo purpose then we have ability zone so uh, once you deploy on the multi 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 uh, node uh, deployment so you can see there is a uh, lots of uh, like uh, ability zone available as per your like data center or as per your like uh, vms like uh, the hardware uh, so now i have only i have only one machine so there is a one availability zone which is nova so uh, how many like, number of instances that you like spin up with the same configuration so i am only like to uh, one so next you can see uh, there is a source so i don't want to like attach the volume so uh, there is uh, there is we need to like identify which uh, uh, which like os image that need that we need to like boot uh, when the uh, virtual machine up so i'm just use this serus basically it's a linux uh, the lightweight uh, uh, image that's is the by default provide the micro stack so it's basically a Linux image. Um, it's just a big uh, 12 MB like uh, Linux image. So that's why it's provided uh, to us. Uh, so uh, now we uh, select the image. Then we have to select the like uh, the flavor. So which flavor you want to use? If you want to like five uh, five 12 MB uh, RAM and DG. these are the basically like uh, the valuable flavor. So now I'm using the uh, only five uh, 12 MB uh, MB RAM and the one GB of hardware. So uh, let's quickly next. So uh, these are the networking configurations. So what uh, net network you are going to use? So now I'm going to use my test network. So in the, you can see there's a test network. What are the like segment, physical network, and also use the external network as well. Uh, so now uh, click on the next. So we can define the network port. So now I'm not using any network ports available. So then we have like uh, need to uh, identify the security group. So by default, it's uh, it's give you the 2020 port. But I have created my test group. You can see I just also apply the 80 port as well. So when uh, for example uh, my application is uh, like uh, uh, the web services, so it's run on 80 port. Uh, so basically, you can define define the ingress and egress port uh, in the security group. Then we have a key value pair uh, for launching the uh, instance. For example, if I want to create new pair, for example, demo purpose and key type SSH key and uh, any of the key. Now uh, I can use my own test key and micro uh, the uh, test key uh, with that particular uh, key key pair uh, instances for logging to the, through the SSH. Then we have a configuration. So if you want to click some like scripting, like best script or any other script to run uh, while uh, in launching the configuration. 
so you can provide the script here or you can uh, select the file of the uh, file as well so then we have uh, like server groups so uh, i have uh, like my own my app server group uh, so basically you can grouping your server for example the production servers are and development server are separate so we we can just group that particular server into a particular so i have created my app group so that uh, basically uh, this uh, this uh, vm is aligned so then we have a uh, like uh, scheduler hint so uh, where you can scheduler uh, so now it's like micro stack so we don't have any like uh, no available scheduler hints available then we have a metadata so we don't have any metadata so you can uh, easily launch that particular instance so now you can uh, see that you are able to uh, uh, launch that particular instance so you can see uh, uh, it's uh, building uh, status is built uh, you can the uh, the task is swapping so now you can see there is uh, the uh, instances running so you can uh, uh, checking that particular uh, instance here so basically you can also uh, see the console uh, as well for example here you can see the login uh, you can see login and use you can use the like uh, login credential so by default it's uh, like uh, user uh, login user is zeros c and you can see the password is same so you can also login uh, to the particular user so here the action log you can see the action log you can see the uh, like uh, logs as well of the like uh, user log and these are the interface and these are the like overview of the stats so then we have a uh, images so basically it's a glance image now if by default it's provide the zeros image so you can create your like uh, the uh, images as well you can ubuntu page custom images as well then we have a key pair which is ss key uh, to log into the send server group this micro server group and we have a volume section so you can see volume so i have created a demo volume my app volume so you can see uh, volume then we have a snapshot you can create a snapshot uh, for the particular like uh, for the like uh, volume then we have group and group snapshot then we have a networking you can provide the security group floating ip routers and many more so these are the like networking parts so i think uh, that's all uh, from my side for the demo part uh, so uh, guys these are my uh, references for this uh, whole session and thank you thank you everyone thank you guys